I've started to think about which devices I should buy next year. The only device I bought this year was the iPhone 6s Plus. I didn't buy a new iPad for example. I still have my iPad Air 2. I didn't buy any new Macs. I still have my 11 inch MacBook Air from 2012 and I only use it as a media center and HTPC connected to my television at home. So which devices should I buy next year then? I have now been post PC for two years. I've been using the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2 as my only computers. And when I bought the iPhone 6s Plus, I decided to try to use the iPhone 6s Plus as my main computer, but still use the iPad Air 2 for some things that I need a larger display for. And it has been great. I absolutely love being post PC, but maybe I should now try to go back to a PC, a Mac, and buy the next version of Apple's 12 inch MacBook. Because if I buy the 2016 version of the 12 inch MacBook that will be released later next year, then I can use the iPhone 6s Plus and then later the iPhone 7 Plus as my main computer and use the 12 inch MacBook for doing stuff that I need a larger display for. For example, some serious video editing and maybe some uh, web design for my website and so on. Or maybe I should buy the iPad Pro 2 next year because I'm so happy with my iOS devices and being post PC and so on. So maybe the iPad Pro 2 will be the perfect device for me. So I'm not really sure how and what I should do next year. So I will uh, start planning for which devices I should buy and use next year. I will start planning for that early next year in the spring and uh, watching more reviews on YouTube and reading a lot about the uh, iPad Pro and MacBook and also on iMac. And after seeing all these reviews and reading about it, then maybe it will be easier for me to decide which devices I should buy when Apple releases the next versions of, for example, the iPad Pro and the 12 inch MacBook and also the next iPhone. And eventually iOS 10 will be a completely new operating system that uh, makes it possible to do even more stuff on an iPad. And eventually Apple will release more apps for the iPad Pro, for example, Final Cut Pro X. It's fully possible that Apple will release Final Cut for the iPad Pro. So I have a lot of thoughts about this and, and I actually like having these thoughts because it makes it so much interesting to follow the development and to see what Apple will bring us next year. So maybe I stick to be post PC or maybe I go back to the Mac and buy a MacBook or an iMac or something to be used instead of my iPad and still use the iPhone as my main computer as I do now. I use my iPhone 6s Plus as my main computer and use the iPad Air 2 for some stuff that I need a bigger display. Okay, bye.